God's story, Timothy. So part of God's story is about a guy named Timothy, and it goes like this. Timothy was living in a town called Lystra with his grandma Lois and his mom Eunice when he met the Apostle Paul. When Tim was just a kid, his grandma and mom taught him about God. They taught Timothy to enjoy spending time with God, the same way you enjoy spending time with your friends. Timothy knew a lot about God and had heard that God was going to send his son Jesus to rescue people from all the wrong things in the world. Since there weren't any TVs or newspapers back then, he didn't know that Jesus was already here. One day, a man named Paul came to Tim's city and told the people there that God had sent Jesus to the world and that we can know him and follow him. Tim wanted Paul to teach him to follow Jesus. He also wanted to learn other things Paul knew, like how to pray for his friends, how he could know God even better, and how to tell God's story. Kids, could you imagine loving to learn so much that you go to school all the time? You start following your teacher home on weekends and going with your teacher on vacation. You even go to school in the summer. That's kind of what Timothy did. He followed Paul everywhere so he could learn new stuff about God all the time. But they didn't stay in one city. They went on a journey to a lot of cities like Corinth, Greece, Jerusalem, Rome, Athens, Phrygia, Galatia, Mysia, Troas, Neapolis, Philippi, Apollonia, Berea, Thessalonica, and back again. Have you ever taken a trip with one of your friends? When you spend a lot of time together, you learn a lot about each other. Well, Timothy spent a lot of time with Paul, and he learned so much from him. And all those things he learned, he started telling other people. So Paul took Timothy along with him as he traveled preaching and teaching. They started many churches during their time together. After a while, Timothy and Paul couldn't be together all the time. But that was okay, because Paul still wrote lots of letters to Timothy, and he was able to keep learning and tell people about God. In one of Timothy's letters to Paul, he said that some people thought Timothy was too young to teach things to grown-ups. But Paul said, don't ever let people tell you that you're too young to tell them about God. You can show them how to act like Jesus. Now, the problem for Tim was sometimes he felt scared. He wasn't afraid of the usual stuff. Spiders, dogs, darkness, heights, snakes, or dentists. He was scared to tell people about God because he thought nobody wanted to listen to him. But Paul taught Tim that he didn't have to be scared of anything because God was with him. And we don't have to be scared either because God is always with us too. Timothy learned a lot of other things from Paul's letters too, like how he should always tell the truth, how he should make friends with people who are lonely, and how he should not be worried about looking cool or getting a lot of awesome new stuff. Remember, learning about God was Timothy's favorite thing to do, so that's what he kept doing his whole life. And that's the story of Timothy. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Timothy liked learning about God. He followed his teacher Paul around the world. He kept learning about God. He taught people even though he was young. He showed people what it looks like to follow God. And that's a part of God's story.